Hi there and welcome to the video. Today, before we start, I just want to say a huge thank you because we recently hit 500 subscribers on the channel, which is absolutely incredible. And I, when I started this channel not too long ago, I just thought it wouldn't really have that much interest. Maybe not that many people were interested in Photop or using Photop, but the feedback I've had has been like overwhelming. And I really appreciate all of your subscribes, all of your likes, comments, and just the general support I've had for the channel. So thank you very much. And I couldn't do it without you. But now we're going to go into a quick tutorial today of how to add custom fonts in Photop. Now, what you see in front of you now is basically the thumbnail for this video, but the fonts look different because I use custom fonts for the thumbnail. And here I've just got some generic fonts from Photop, which I don't particularly like. So the first stage to add in custom fonts in Photop is to download the fonts in the first place. Now, if you go to the description box below, I've given you links to the two free fonts that I will use in this tutorial. But if you just go into Google and search free fonts for download, it will bring up many excellent sites where you can just go and download those fonts for free and um, just try out loads of different styles. So once you've got your font file downloaded onto your desktop or wherever you'd like to keep them, then in Photop, I'm going to start with this 500 subs here. So I'll click on the existing font. I will open the character box here, which is these uppercase and lowercase T symbol. And if you don't have this, if you go up to the window menu at the top, scroll down and just check the character menu line there and it will appear. So this is a font that's included in Photop. Uh, I don't particularly like it. So I'm going to install my own font. So once you've opened this font list here, you'll see sort of at the right hand side in the middle, the button that says load font. So we want to click on that. And now this is where you need to navigate on your own computer, whether it's Windows or Mac OS, where you've saved those font files. So as you can see here in this custom fonts folder, I've got a font called Affirmation and one called Jersey Letters. And I'm going to click Jersey Letters. As you can see, it comes with the preview and click open. Font Jersey Letters loaded. Now, the first time you do this, it will ask if you want to store this in like local storage. Um, click yes, because that means every time you open Photop, that font will be available. It's only not asked me because I've had it installed before. So then you go to your font drop down, and that was called Jersey Letters. So we'll start to search for it. Oh. Jersey Letters, here we go. Now, a little tip also is if you click the star next to it before you do anything, it'll add that font to um, your font favorites list just so you can access it quickly in the future. So I'm going to select that. As you can see, it's changed at 500. I'm going to do exactly the same with the word subs underneath because I want it in the same font. And here I will show you the favorites list. So if I just clean that search. So you put a star next to any font in the list that you want to add to your favorites. And to access the favorites, you click on this main star image that's here next to the find box. And it will show you in that the fonts that you've previously favorited. So there's Jersey letters. So I'll click that again. And there we go to update. Now I've got one more down here. The word that actually has custom font is itself in the thumbnail image, a custom font, bizarrely. So I'm going to update that now. So I do the same. Go, go to here, load font. This one's called affirmation, but you can see I've already downloaded it. I'm just going to click cancel. I've already downloaded it and put it into my favorites here. So I've loaded it, put it into my favorites. I'll click that and there you can see the updated font. And it really is as simple as that. The only thing you need to bear in mind with Photop is unlike anything else, it doesn't pull the fonts from your system fonts. So it doesn't matter what you've got installed on your PC or your Mac before you use Photop, they, those fonts won't be available unless you manually load them in. But apart from that, it's quick and easy and it's a great way to be really creative, trying out new things and not just sticking with what Photop gives you, but it opens up a whole new world of design possibilities. Well, thank you very much for joining me today. And once again, thank you so much for the 500 subs. I really appreciate it. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Bye for now.